Vizio D series 55 inch smart TV. Um, it's still in its box. We had a 50 inch plasma TV that just went out, so we got this one. Um, this one in the box is significantly lighter than that 50 inch one. Um, pretty good buy. It's probably on the lower end as far as monetary value goes. This one was almost $400. There were some that were a little bit cheaper and then there's lots that are way more expensive. But this is our budget so we'll see kind of how it turns out. I'll kind of give you a little overview here in a second once I get it hooked up. Okay, upon setting this one up you go through a little process of selecting your language, your Wi-Fi, things like that. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little review of where things are at. On the side here, one thing I don't like, because I have mine lean back to show you something in a second. One thing I don't really like is there's only uh, two HDMI ports and then one auxiliary one. Um, and then you have your Ethernet and stuff back back here, your cable. Um, on this side of the TV, there, that's where you plug it in, your power source. Uh, it's a little bit finicky to get in there. And then on the bottom, I looked all over this thing trying to find where the heck the power button was and the internet or the input button, remote and stuff like that. So it's on the bottom here. This is your sensor that senses from your remote. On the bottom are your buttons. So you have the on off button right here. You have your volume control and your input. Um, so it's not really the best design, I don't think. I, I'm, most, I'm used to seeing them on the sides, on the bottom, on the back a little bit, out of the way. This one's just built in right here. Uh, so that's where that one's at. Like I said, a little bit confusing when I was looking for it. So once I get done updating here, I will take and I will do more of an update first impressions video. My update took a while to uh, do. We also have slower internet. It took probably 15 or 20 minutes. If you have quick internet, it'll probably be 5 or 10. It wasn't too bad. I just went and cooked dinner during that phase. Um, so this thing comes preloaded with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm in the middle of watching something while, while I was getting ready to have kids down. Um, so anyways, if you take and you push, so here's your controller. It's pretty basic. It's got some of the major apps across the top here. And then it's got your volume and select and whatnot. This is your main home page. Um, so this is everything that it came downloaded with. Um, as far as your apps, you can see me scrolling down. It's got quite a few apps that you can choose from that, you can, that are preloaded for you. Um, at the top, if you scroll back up to the very top, you have movies. These are all the different TV sh movies that it comes with. Um, preloaded on here as well. There's quite a few. I haven't gone through all of them, but some of them say free and some of them don't, so I'm presuming you might have to rent some. TV shows it goes through and it does a whole bunch of different TV shows. Um, these are the ones that come with it so it's kind of as the uh, channels change so does so does what's playing obviously like an old TV. Um, then you have some of your other shows on here. A lot of them are for free like you see Seinfeld says free in the top left hand corner but in this one it doesn't say free these are your free sports channels. Comes with quite a few. I've checked them out. They're actually pretty good for the most part. Um, so it's pretty good overall that way. Um, let's scroll back up to the top. If you go up to the top, you have your support and then your extras. Um, it's just kind of about it. your Alexa, Amazon backdrop. So once again, you push this button right here to get back to your home page. Um, or you can push the back button as well. Then you have your menu, so you can go through and you do your picture, audio, set up your network, your timers, channels, closed captions. Uh, pretty good overall product. I'm pretty happy with the with the quality of it and the picture resolution. I don't know if my phone is doing a good enough job, but it's actually pretty well laid out.